Syria, we have uh, uh, currently approximately 140,000 uh, refugees registered with UNHCR. This number, of course, is not uh, comprehensive of all the number of Iraqis that are currently in Syria. There's a car pumpings, there are uh, people like kidnapping other people, and the people come to shoot other people as assassinations, and uh, it's full of chaos. So, like, it's hard to explain for one or two words. It's very big chaos. She was attacked uh, while she was delivering the kids to school. And the men uh, beat her in the street and they told her that she should convert to Islam. October 2007, Abdullah was kidnapped. Four masked men just took them and tortured him. They cut off his finger. They asked him more about the reason. He said the reason is sectarian violence. And that's it. Sometime I feel I was dying in Baghdad. I was just corpse. Here in Syria, I just felt like spirits between the earth and the sky. No, no stable. The, no, the only thing that you know about yourself, you're a refugee. You, nothing. Uh, we we were a student and uh, I was work as a painter but I get thrust in Baghdad in 2005 because I start as a painter uh, since 2003 with the US force uh, I was like make them portraits uh, sometimes they buy I uh, selling my painting to them So that's the reason, because people don't like first the painters uh, or in general the artists and the other things, uh, they don't appreciate people who work with U.S. Force. We stick in the nothing, in the middle of nothing. You just like think we will start it, but not now. We are just waiting, waiting for what? I don't know. Just waiting. It's hard. It's hard to call my, your family. Hey, please send me two hundred dollars or one hundred. I wanted to leave like anybody. Have work, have future, have respect. These are people that, a bit like you or me, that means that we had an education, we, had a, we are middle class people, we had a, a, several opportunities, the possibility to dream about our future, what we want to do. And now they are, they are confronted with this uh, very difficult uh, situation. I'm still worrying about my family and her. She's still worrying about my our. Okay, we are here. Maybe we save, but we still have a family there. So all time when my phone rings, all time I go, oh God, maybe something good. So all time I think if I will ha ha pick up the phone and somebody tell me like we are your brother or your mother or something. I was napping in the sofa. And just her phone ringing. Let's let it rain, it doesn't matter. And I go and pick up. And then, Hello. and then she back. Ah, she was crazy. Ah, mama, mama. Ah, oh, we got the settlement. Ah, we start to buy movie about Seattle, so, like protest of Seattle, devolute all, sleepless in Seattle, and all time searching about Seattle. 
<laughs> yeah, and I met before. Because the internet, Seattle. Yeah. Seattle, yeah, Washington. Washington. <laughs> Seattle, Washington. <laughs> Here we work in reality with the people whose main challenge is lack of hope. They have lost faith in their future, they have lost faith in their country, they have lost faith in their government and um, you know they need to regain this to be able to go back home. <laughs> 